What's going on everyone? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you all how to install Ubuntu Desktop 22.4.4 on VirtualBox. And this tutorial is actually pretty straightforward. All you're going to need is to download the Ubuntu ISO from Ubuntu's official website, which I'll have linked down below. And you'll simply just click on download the latest version, which will be a green box here. And then it'll go ahead and download to your hard drive. Then go ahead and save that to a good place on your machine so that you can access that easily within VirtualBox. Secondly, you're just going to want to download VirtualBox if you haven't already, which I'll also have linked down below. And to download it, just go over to Downloads in the side and select which host machine you're on. For me, I'm just on Windows. And once you have downloaded and installed VirtualBox, we can now go ahead and open that up. And you can also locate your ISO file. And within VirtualBox, go ahead and select New to create a new virtual machine. Go ahead and give it a name. And for the folder, locate a space on your device that you want it to be stored. And then we can select the ISO image we downloaded from Ubuntu's website. Select Skip Unattended Installation. Go to Hardware. I'd recommend setting about a quarter of your RAM. And if you have hardware virtualization enabled, you can go ahead and select a few more CPU or virtual CPU cores. These are just your threads. I'm just going to select two because my CPU is four cores, eight threads. And for the hard disk, I'd recommend like 20, 25 gigs because that should be plenty to get you up and running on Ubuntu. And if you'd like down the line, there is an option to add more space by adding another virtual drive. And before we start the machine, go over to settings, go to display, set the video memory up to 128, and then enable 3D acceleration. And the rest for now can be left as is. Now click the green arrow in the top to start up the machine. And go ahead and click on enter once try or install Ubuntu is highlighted. And as if you were installing this on a normal computer, it's going to be the same setup process. Now we can continue the installation, click on install, select your language. And depending on how you're going to use Ubuntu desktop, you can go with the normal or minimal installation, which I'm just going to use it as mainly an SSH server and maybe to have just a web browser and some basic things. And I'd recommend downloading the updates so that it's all good to go once it installs. And I'd recommend checking install third party software so that it can download any additional drivers it might need for the virtual machine. And it's going to install to the virtual hard disk we created. Just click on install now. And it's going to give you a warning about how it's going to overwrite the data, but you can just click on continue because that will be an empty disk. Select your region and go ahead and give the computer a name along with the username and give it a password and press continue. This process usually takes like 10 minutes depending on the speed of your hard drive. And it's gonna ask us to remove our installation media which we can do by shutting down the machine first. So go up to the top, file, close, power off the machine, press okay. Once it's powered off, go back into the virtual machine settings locate storage, and it looks like it actually automatically ejected it for us. So as long as it says empty here, you can click on OK, and now we can boot into our virtual machine install. And if you'd like, now that we've installed the virtual machine here, you can also go ahead and delete this ISO file because we'll no longer need it. And just like that, we're now booted into the Ubuntu desktop, and these settings are all up to you. And I'll go ahead and test the internet because there is one last step to this, which involves installing the VirtualBox guest editions drivers to ensure we have the best VirtualBox virtual machine experience. And I'll just go to google.com. And yeah, we do have internet. Looks like there are some updates detected, which we can go ahead and install those. But first, I'd recommend opening up the terminal here. And you're going to want to install the guest editions. So type sudo apt get install virtualbox dash guest dash editions. And hit enter. And it's going to ask for the password we created in the beginning when we were making the login information. And then hit Y and then hit enter to continue. And if that command was successful, you'll now see a green line with the money symbol indicating that it installed. And lastly, I'd recommend installing any software updates it might have, which you can just click on install now to do. 
And I might ask for your password again. And now we can restart our virtual machine, which will actually install the VirtualBox updates along with installing these current updates we just downloaded. And once it reboots, you're good to go. There it is. We've successfully installed Ubuntu 22.04.4 within VirtualBox with the latest drivers and updates. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in another video.